okay it's the next day now <laughs> what I thought I would do I've I found this bit of fabric unfortunately I don't have a lot of bright colored fabrics well not unfortunately I just don't have a lot of darker fabrics and the only dark one is this um, beautiful crepe fabric but what I thought I would do was um, put a little bit underneath so it like So it shines through a little bit, perhaps. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Anyway, I kind of like the way that looks, though. It looks pretty, but I've got some pink, and I also, um, I've got some blue as well. So if I find that it needs a bit of color behind it, I will pop a little bit of color behind it before I start stitching things down. So that is the back page. I just have to, I've only just walked in here this morning, so I have to remind myself of what I've been playing around with so far. So that's the back page, like that. Uh, okay, so this is the next one. What's that? Oh, okay, that's so, how. A pocket we're going to make. It can go on top perhaps. Oh, that was going there, was it? Like that. Alright, so that's our pocket for that page. Did I want to do anything else? What I, I'm just laying things out how I want them. And then when I'm pretty much happy, I will sew them to the base on the sewing machine. I'm not hand stitching it. Um, although I like hand stitching, it does take a lot longer to do, and I, you know, I have other things I've got to do as well. <laughs> um, so I will use the sewing machine. Do I want anything else? I do want other things on this page. Yes, I do. Uh, what have I got here from the kit? Perhaps. What I might do is, okay, I'm just going to divide this particular trim up. Okay, so I just took the circle part out of that dangle trim and I think I will put that down here like that on the edge and that will give me I still have a lot of this dangle trim left but that also gives me that nice little trim there that I can use and also I still have a very fine dangle trim if I want to use it for something as well <clears throat> excuse me now what have we got We've got this lovely doily here um, I don't want to cover up that because it's pretty. It's very pretty. I might have something put there though because that's quite blank. Uh, where was that? This perhaps. I still have, remember this piece I cut I cut this piece off for this side. Maybe I can use the bit I left over. I wonder if that will... I could put that there. that under the scallop, the bottom. I 
Cut that up like that more. That can come down more. Like that. And there, like that. Then. Like that. Okay. That's good. What's that? Oh, I've got that on the other page, haven't I? Okay, yes. So now let's have a look at the... That was the first page there, and I think I was... Was I happy with that? It's all pink, isn't it? Maybe it needs a bit of blue on it. Um, I've got this blue here still. I need that? I don't think I need that now. Maybe there? Under that last. Maybe under there like that just. Like that. That like that. I think I like it that way instead. I'm still in my dressing gown. <laughs> there we go, it's early. That under there. I think I like it that way. Do I want that on top or under? But then I could use some more of this. Oh, there's quite a lot of that. Across there. Like that. After I've sewn it all on here. I've got this. It's very stripey though, isn't it? Too many stripes going across doing that. I don't want it too stripey like that. Uh, what can I do though down here? It needs something, I think. It's a bit too shiny. A bit too shiny down there. Oh. I know this is still shiny, but that might, although we're back to our stripes, aren't we? Or, there's this piece, because that's got the cotton trim on it there, we might be able to use. Um... use that there so it's not quite so shiny although we're still back to having although if I use it there then it's not as stripey is it uh, and have it like that 
that? How about that? Could have it like that. Um, what else have we got here? Got this lovely doily here. breaks up those stripes a little bit too. Put something under it perhaps. Um, maybe That under there it just needs trimming a bit more. Like that. Yeah. And maybe Pretty one here. Yeah. That can come afterwards. The decoration can come afterwards because I've got lots of little flowers and things like that. But I think I like that there. It tends to break up the stripes and things like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, what about down the bottom here? I think that goes to the other page. Um, I'm not sure I want dangle dangle things. I just don't think that's what I want in this. And I've got to leave enough to make a cover for it look pretty. So I think they're the bases. And I'm going to take some time today and sew all the bases on that I've just shown you. And then we'll start decorating the inside of the book. So that's all done now. There's the that will be the front cover there. That will be the first page like that. I did put some pink under this particular doily and I hand stitched the doily, this little trim here on and this doily piece here as well. And I put a little bit of the pink fabric under that. It just seemed a bit bright there. So what I did was I went over the pink fabric with some tulle just to soften it a little bit on that one. And then our next page is this one here. I have the pocket on now. That's all on. I did cut a flower out of this fabric and just, uh, it's a, I cut a circle out and then I just stitched a circular um, a stitch around that nice and rough. Uh, that little one was hand stitched on, but the rest was mis machine stitched on. So, oh, and I put that, um, that is off, where's that lace, this, this pretty lace here. Um, that's, there was a little bit more of the netting up there, so I cut that off and just ruffled that down that edge there. So that's that page. I think everything else stayed the same. And then the last page is that one there. And once I put the pink fabric under the gold fabric 
and then that goes over there and I just I like the color behind there uh, and I hand stitched this little piece of um, lace on and what I did was I just got some linen fabric and cut it to the shape behind there and stitched it behind there and that was hand stitched on that little piece there as well the rest was just roughly uh, straight stitched and zigzagged on so that's what I'm up to now the next stage will be to oh I know what the next stage will be it will be a surprise <laughs> I'll see you in the next video have a lovely weekend everybody Bye-bye.